surprised how much you think you know about your beauty regimen. So we've got the one and only Derek Selby here to help us out. So let's do some true or false in our Ooh. audience um, because you are smart. They are going to vote on whether something's true or false. I'm going to ask you the questions, okay, Dee? You okay. should never put oil on oily skin. You should never put oil on oily skin. Is that true or is that false? I'm going to go with false. You guys are going mostly wow, with false. Mostly false. And are we right or are we the wrong? The false people are correct. Yay! Yeah. So the key thing with this is your a healthy skin is made up of a balance of oil and water. Yeah. So people have this thing that oil is terrible for your skin. Oily skin has a overproductive sebaceous gland which produces oil mm -hmm. um, but there's lots of non-comedogenic oils that don't clog your pores so you want to use the right oils so right. jojoba oil is excellent for oily skin and it's a great carrier to have other oils in okay. uh, eucalyptus oil tea tree oil aloe vera oil so there's lots out there it's finding the right one that is great for your skin yeah. and all skin but especially um, oily skin can be dehydrated That's because right. they don't want to moisturize you need to so okay. using the right oil is the is is true. Yep. So you should use the right oil, yep, but right do oil. use an oil even if yep. you have oily skin. That's right. Okay, how about this one, guys? How you sleep on your pillow can cause wrinkles on your face. I'm gonna say oh, look true. At that. Oh, they all say true. The true people. No, turn your turn your thing. <laughs> okay, there you You're go. You're right. Yay! Maybe in the back. Turn it. True. <laughs> the worst the worst place to sleep is on your face. <laughs> Oh, that's so sad. Do you sleep like that? I'm a stomach sleeper. Oh, that's not good, hon. I know. So here's the thing. I'm a stomach sleeper, and that's bad for a lot of reasons. It's yeah. bad for my back. It's right. bad for my hips. All and now it's drained. bad for my face. Well, Thanks, all the Derek. fluids are draining there. I know. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Um, if you're a slide sleeper, which a lot of us are, yeah. it, if you sort of rotate either side, that's helpful. Because you yeah. will see, if you only sleep on one side, you know, aging on that side. Ideally, you want to kind of be on your back. It's so hard to sleep that way. But I, who sleeps on your back? I mean, I think it's even Bahar. sad that babies have to sleep that way. I feel bad for them. Yeah. Right? Yeah, but you have to put the pillows okay. on them, right? Yeah, so, so you got to do. Yeah. Okay, you have to use all the same products from the same line for the best results. Okay. This is a really good audience. These yeah, guys they are, smart. are. They're smart. So the answer is false. And the reason that this audience and our friends at home know this yeah. is... We all do it. Yeah. <laughs> Even though they tell you at the counter you should use these all together, we all do it. Right. And our skin doesn't fall off. It's fine. Right. What I will say is sometimes brands will develop a system of product or a regime of product where the ingredients will benefit each other. Yeah. That is the case. But it's not true. If you find that you love a cleanser from this brand and a moisturizer from this brand and whatever, Go you've for been doing it. it it totally is fine. Okay, that's that's cool. Especially now in the in the age of like social media, it's yes. so obvious that everyone's doing it. Yes, everyone has a, a plethora of yeah, products, and right. you can mix and match yep. and use your that's favorites right. from each brand. Yep. Here's another one: all skin damage occurs before age 18. <laughs> all skin damage occurs before the age of 18. I say that's false. So it's mixed in the audience. It's. False. Okay, with a caveat? Yeah, kind of the caveat. So it's not all skin damage, but it is probably about 20 to 25%, somewhere in there, occurs before we're 18. Hmm. So a lot of our sun damage and our skin damage and aging happens when we're children. So yeah. please protect your kids' skin, you know, slather the sunscreen on them. But each decade, as we get older, it's kind of another 10% of aging. So what that means is it's never too late to start. Okay, yeah. but it's the kitties we really got to watch really out for. Should be, children is, should be wearing sunscreen all the time. I find we're more vigilant about our kids than we are about ourselves anyways, I, yeah, for those agree, of us totally. that have kids. I like, see like parents they're slathered up. Slathering. Yeah. yeah. And it's you just, should. Yeah, you should. Yep. Okay, here's another one. Facial ex exercises keep your skin taut. Facial exercises keep your skin taut. I'm going to go with uh, true for this one, much like the audience. Is it true? There's is no... So there's... There's no scientific evidence. There isn't. And you look silly doing it, look. Yeah. Um, if, you, if that's what you love, and I know that <laughs> I, I have clients that it they're like, no, fun. I am like, all right, knock yourself out. I personally would say go get some filler and Botox, but that's just me. Um, yeah, there's no scientific evidence. Oh, it doesn't do anything. Yeah. Okay, I got mm -hmm. that one wrong. Uh, the skin on your neck ages as fast as your face. Mm, I'm going to say false. I think it ages faster. 
you're, you're, you've been doing this show for 10 years and you know what you're talking about. <laughs> it ages faster. It ages faster because, number one, it's thinner skin. Yeah. Um, there's there's not the structure underneath it like there is in our face of the muscles etc to support it yeah and a lot of us forget to put lotion on to it treat and protect, yeah. so please think of your face when you're putting your creams on and your moisturizer and any treatment ideally from here up yeah um, make sure you're moisturizing your neck mm -hmm. make sure that you're exfoliating your neck so you're getting oh. the best penetration of your products yeah there are there are specific neck creams but probably more important than that is that you're moisturizing exfoliating sunscreen exfoliating guys are you doing don't, that don't but what about so tweezing? don't stop here <laughs> I do do that. that's not my area of expertise <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have 30 seconds. Um, I, I, we don't have time for any more questions, but okay. you guys did very well. Yeah, they were good. Uh, pat yourself on the back.